I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. A scientific team says that it's going to bring back to life a 30,000-year-old virus found frozen in Siberia. Why? It's mainly for two reasons. One, their pursuit of pure scientific knowledge, and two, because they've never seen a horror movie. A German woman is grateful for her bra after she rode her bicycle through a boar hunt and the underwire deflected a hunter's bullet. She was accidentally shot during a boar hunt? That has got to be one ugly woman. The Minnesota dentist whose killing of Cecil the Lion sparked a global backlash wants to get back to work and resume his life. And to that end, he has given an interview in which he disputes some accounts of the hunt and expresses agitation at the anger directed at those close to him. Walter Palmer says, "...if I had known this lion had a name and was important to the country or a study, obviously I wouldn't have taken it. Nobody in our hunting party knew before or after the name of this lion." You know who else would like to resume his life? Cecil the Lion. McDonald's is rolling out self-service kiosks in restaurants across the U.S. that allow customers to order and pay for their food without ever having to interact with a human. According to Yahoo!, the touchscreen technology is meant to speed up the ordering process and give people more control over customizing their food while reducing opportunities for human error. Uh, this is also what you get when you force business owners to increase their minimum wage. I'm loving it. Back to work. Back to work. Everybody. Work, 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 work. Work, work. A new report suggests that before a robot takes your job, you're likely to be working with one side by side. And he'll be easy to spot, too. He's the one not paying union dues. A survey finds that a quarter of all people who take a briefcase or something similar to work with them have got something in it for self-defense. So watch out, I am deadly accurate with my handheld stapler. According to new polls, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders now leads Hillary Clinton by nine points in New Hampshire and continues to close in on her in Iowa. Wow! And she didn't appear to be having fun when she was a shoe-in. When it comes right down to it, a lot of the time you may not be motivated to get up at five in the morning to hit the gym. Well, your daily routine is about to be changed with a new fitness tracking wearable called Havelock. This device will actively punish you for failing. At first, it starts with just vibrations. This quickly advances to a small alarm, and if you are too stubborn to heed the warning, it will shock you. It's easily defeated, though, by eating enough junk food to puff up your wrists and expand to the point that it breaks the wristband. That's your Daily Dose of Weird News. I'm Darren Marlar. You can get more weird news at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, where you can find me on Spreaker, YouTube, iTunes. You can download the free Daily Dose of Weird News app for Apple and Android. You can also like the Facebook page for weird stories every day of the week and more. That's all at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm loving it.